If you're a millennial living in Canada right now and you do not own a property, are you screwed? And the simple answer is, of course you're not. But the reason why I asked that question is because Royal LePage, which is one of the biggest real estate brokerages in all of Canada, recently put out a report on millennials and home ownership. And quick question for you before we get into this video is if you are a millennial, meaning you are 26 to 41 years old living in Canada, do you currently own the property that you live in? Comment below. This report came out last week and full disclosure, this is the real estate company that I work for and I was quoted in this report. So I had access to this data about a week before it was made public. And the first time we've released a report like this and it won't be the last because the millennial generation is a large cohort of who the home buyers are right now in Canada. One of the points I wanted to make as well is when you hear the word millennial, I still think a lot of the older generations think of millennial as like 18 year olds. They're not, they're adults. They're 25 to 40 years old. They have families. And something interesting to me as well, I've looked at the channel analytics uh, for the people that watch these videos and a good chunk, the biggest chunk of people that watch these videos are 25 to 35. So I think this video will be very relevant for you. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tom Story and I make educational real estate content here in the city of Toronto and we talk about Canada as a whole as well. If you enjoyed this video, all I ask is that you give it a thumbs up and if you like this type of content and want to see more of it, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We are over 6,000 people and my goal is still to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. After you watch this video, if you want to talk to me directly about your real estate goals here in the city of Toronto, you can go into the first link in the description and book a buyer call, a seller call, or just a call to chat about the market. So we're going to get into the article today and we're going to go over a few of the main points that came out of this survey. So over 2,000 people were surveyed, which again is not all of Canada, but it is a good chunk of people in this millennial population. And after we look over these numbers, we're going to then break down a few things that I think are really important right now if you are part of this cohort that is not yet into the housing market. All right, let's jump right in together here and see what this article has to say. All right, so Roy LePage, six in 10 non-homeowner millennials in Canada believe that they will one day own a home, but half say they would have to relocate. So right off the bat, it's showing that there is a big desire for millennials to still own homes. 60% of those that do not yet own a home want to own a home, but they recognize that if they want to own, they're probably going to have to leave where they are currently living, which I'm assuming they are renting or they are staying with their parents. A few of the other uh, survey highlights here. So 72% of millennials in Canada would choose to continue living in their current city or town if the cost of living was not an issue. So I think cost of living is obviously an issue for many places across Canada, but you're seeing it in the urban markets like Toronto, Vancouver, even Montreal, lots of other areas like that. 40% of millennials in Canada say that they would change employers to be able to work fully remotely. Top motivators include the cost and time associated with commuting. I have friends that have recently left really, really good jobs because they were offered another job opportunity where it was 100% remote. And they knew that it wasn't flex work. They didn't have to go into the city two days a week and they could really live their lifestyle without worrying about transit back and forth every day. Next year, it says that 68% of non-homeowner millennials in Canada say that owning a home is important to them. I'm going to dig into this in a little while with you. And then nationally, more than 4 million millennials or 51% say that they plan to purchase a home in the next five years. That one's interesting to me. So they're saying that 50% of these millennials currently right now want to purchase a home in the next five years. So if you're looking right now at home values and prices and everything that's going on all across Canada, the, the big factor in all of this is supply and demand. What we are seeing from this report is that the demand is going to be there at least over the next five years with a generation that is massive in numbers. And it's all going to come down to where are they going to buy? Now, because of this, Roy LePage has urged policymakers to remain focused on efforts to increase supply of homes in Canada despite a cooling market. That last point was interesting to me because, yes, things have cooled off in Canada with interest rate hikes. And I think a lot of us are looking at the market now and saying, well, there's no issue. There's homes sitting on the market. Obviously, there is supply. There is supply in certain areas. 
But long term here, if we know that a ton of millennials over the next five years are going to try and buy properties, if our immigration numbers keep up for what they are right now in Canada, we are going to have a housing shortage. Now, that doesn't mean every pocket of Canada is going to have a housing shortage. But as we see in the markets that have increased in value in the last decade, that there is pockets of Canada that do have a housing shortage. Now, an opinion that's like kind of unpopular about Toronto, Vancouver and other expensive markets in Canada is that it's good that they're expensive because then people won't move there and they'll move to other markets in Canada and help them grow. Because if everybody's just going to these hubs, these hubs will continue to go up in value, but other areas won't see the same growth that Toronto, Vancouver, and these other expensive markets will see. I'm not really sure where I land on that, but I just think that's an interesting way of looking at it. Building more homes supply-wise is gonna be big over the next decade. Also, a lot of these millennials that are first-time home buyers that are not yet in the market, what has been holding them back recently has been the down payment for a property. A lot of these people could actually afford the monthlies on the mortgage to own a home, but it's the down payment that's stopping them. That's one of the good things right now with prices dropping off across Canada with interest rates going up, is that although the interest rate is higher, down payment is less, and hopefully this will help this generation get into the market. I still do think the government of Canada needs to do a better job at giving incentives to millennials or first-time home buyers that do not yet own a home. There's a few programs out there, but honestly, like not very many people are actually taking action on them because they're not that helpful. There should be something in place to help millennials get into the market that do not already own. And my last point here on why I think it is that millennials are so interested in real estate is because they're looking at their parents right now. And if you're a millennial, it means your parent is probably at the point in their life that they're close to retiring and they're already in retirement. And you look at the wealth that they have built by owning that home for 25, 35, 40 years in some cases by just living there. Like they didn't buy it as an asset. They bought it to have a roof over their head. And now they've gained a lot of equity and wealth over time because of it. And I think people are seeing that now when they're looking at their parents and going like, well, I, I'd like to be in that position one day. And that, that's going to force them to have this desire to want to get into the market. Whether you agree with that or disagree with it, I think that's just the reality. And I can tell you too, like I'm in this generation. I'm a millennial. I'm 31 years old. When I go out to dinner parties with my friends, what do you think we talk about? We talk about hockey. We talk about politics. We talk about real estate. Real estate is a hot topic. Housing is a hot topic. There's no perfect solution here, but I think what this article shows us, this survey shows us, is that the demand long term for a massive generation coming into the housing market is going to be there. And that tells me kind of what I need to know long term about the Canadian real estate market. But again, like everything, and I've said this before, micro markets are what matters. So if you're making an investment decision or buying a property for yourself, Look at just your local market. Don't just look at Canadian data overall. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please throw them down in the comments below. My name is Tom Story. And remember, home is where your story begins.